Hello friends, this video on improvement in food resources part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us discuss about manure in detail. So what is manure? It is a substance that increases the soil fertility. So what do we mean by soil fertility? <clears throat> As I mentioned before, uh, that basically this manure is a way of providing nutrients to the soil. So what happens when you add manure to the soil, you are actually enriching the soil with the nutrients. So now the soil has all the nutrients and as a result, the soil is very good for growth of plants. So if you plant trees on that soil, they'll have a good growth. So that is what is known as fertile. That, that means the soil is capable of growing trees. Now, how do we prepare manure? From where do we get manure? It is decomposition of animal excreta and plant wastes. So this is again one nice thing about manure that it is formed from waste things. For example, animal excreta like cow dung or excreta of other organisms, plant wastes again like rotten leaves or flowers or things like that. So all these are waste materials, right? Now these waste materials are decomposed. That means in due course of time, they become manure. So that means in a way it is recycling waste products. So that is a very good thing about manure. Correct? Okay. Constituents, what does it consist of? Now when it is made up of animal excreta and plant wastes, it is very obvious that it will consist of organic matter because our body is made up of, our body is organic to a large extent, we, it is made up of all organic compounds. So since it is by decomposition of the excreta, so it is, uh, it has lot of organic matter and it also has some nutrients and these nutrients it provides to the soil. <coughs> What is the function of manure? Now the organic matter which is present in manure improves the structure of the soil. How does it improve the soil structure? It increases the water holding capacity in soils. Now in soils also you have many different types of soils. For example, we have sandy soils, we have clay soils, we have black soils. So there are many varieties of soils. Anyways, we are not going to discuss in detail about each of those types. But each type of soil has a specific characteristic of its own for example if it is sandy soils you you would have seen sand right how is sand it is like it is loose they are not much attached to each other right so for sandy soil they do not hold a lot of water so this manure when applied to a sandy soil it increases the water holding capacity so it increases the water holding capacity of sandy soils it helps in drainage and it also avoids water logging. So this it does in case of clay soils. So clay is something like which absorbs a lot of water. So sometimes water logging takes place. That is too much of water get collected in a place. Now if water logging is there, it will have adverse effect on the plant growth. So we should not have water logging. So if we use manure, so manure in case of clay soils, it will remove water logging. It will help in drainage because whenever the water will drain properly, there will be no logging of water. And similarly in sandy soils, it will increase the water holding capacity. So overall, it, it will actually improve or make the soil structure better and also provide nutrients to the soil because of which and all together will make the soil fertile. <clears throat> now let us look at the classification of manure. Now there are two types of manures which are uh, available. The first one is compost and vermicompost. So this is the first classification of manure. So what is compost? Animal and vegetable wastes decomposed in pits. What are pits? You know pits? Pits is like a, a well kind of a thing which is dug in a place and there you deposit all the animal wastes and vegetable wastes and then you decompose them together. You mix them together and put some water and in due course of time they will decompose and they will form manure. So this is known as compost and this process of preparing uh, the manure is known as composting. Right? So how does a compost looks like? It it will look somewhat like this. So here you can see that all kinds of plant and animal wastes are put together 
in so this is a pit that means a, a well kind of a thing i mean some people do it i mean dug it in the ground itself some people uh, take some container and then the decomposition will happen in this and it will form compost and the process is known as composting so it is rich in organic matter and nutrients as i mentioned before since it is made of animal and plant based so it has to be rich in organic matter now also this decomposition happens using earthworms you all know what is earthworm right it is a, a, a creature a living organism <clears throat> okay so what how decomposition takes place using earthworms now what happens is so here in this picture you can see that a lot of earthworms are put in a bin which is being harvested so they have put the earthworms here now what will the earthworms do the earthworms will eat the biological wastes so these biological wastes which we are talking biological waste means the plant and animal wastes so the earthworms will eat the biological wastes and the castings of the earthworms that means the excretion of the earthworms is known as vermi cast and that is that is the vermi compost so that means earthworm will actually how the decomposition will take place here is earthworm will feed on the biological waste and the excreta of the earthworms or the castings of the earthworms are known as vermi cast and that vermi cast is known as vermi compost now by using earthworm the process becomes little faster right because so many they have left so many earthworms here right so every earthworm will the, the castings of all the earthworms will get collected and we will get vermi compost so that is known as compost and vermi compost basically both are formed from animal and plant wastes in case of compost they are decomposed in pits in case of vermi compost they are decomposed by earthworms Now let us look at the next type of manure that is the green manure. <clears throat> so what do you think should be a green manure? The name itself tells a lot about it. So green manure means it is formed from green plants. So some green plants are uprooted and stuffed under the soil. Now in the previous case we saw that the plant and animal wastes were decomposed. In this case the green plants will be decomposed. That means some plants are grown and then they are uprooted from the soil and then you again dug them in the, inside the soil so what will happen in due course of time the plants will get i mean those green plants will decompose and they will form green manure that is why it is known as green manure because it is formed from green plants such plants are grown for a specific period of time so now this green manure is intentionally prepared by the farmers so what do they do now let us suppose they want to grow a crop let us suppose they want to grow wheat okay now before they uh, actually sow the seeds of the wheat crop what they do they will take some other plants some any green plants they will take they will plant it throughout the field right now when they will grow a little they will uproot them and mulch them and again plow them inside the soil now so in some time these green plants which are stuffed under the soil they will become green manure and now they will um, grow the wheat crop in that field so what will happen the wheat crop got a good manure from the soil because what will ma the manure manure do the green manure will increase the soil fertility so that is why now when they will crop the wheat crops that will actually give a better yield so this is green manure so this green manure mainly provide nitrogen and phosphorus to the soil now if you look at the list of the nutrients you will see that both nitrogen and phosphorus fall under the category of macronutrients that means plant need these nutrients in large amounts some of the examples of green manure is sun hemp and guar these are some of the plants which are generally planted with the purpose of making green manure just now i gave you an example of wheat that before planting the wheat crops they will plant some other green plants so these some other green plants there are some specific green plants for example the sun hemp and the guar um, i am not sure if you have seen these plants in your nearby locality but guar is something you would have definitely seen in the vegetable markets at least it it looks a uh, little similar to beans like how beans look it look little similar to beans but um, uh, it it is little flat it is little flatter than beans so these kind of plants <clears throat> will actually help in becoming a good manure for the soil so these are the two 
types of manures, compost, vermicompost and green manure. So now, what are the advantages of using manure? So the first advantage is that it is increasing the fertility of the soil, it is increasing the structure of the soil, improving the soil structure and as a result, uh, the the crop production is increasing, the, uh, the plants are getting enough nutrients, therefore the crop production is enhancing, that is one advantage. But other than that, what are the other advantages of using a manure? There are some additional advantages. For example, the first one is non-toxic. That means there is no toxic materials involved in the preparation of manure or in the constituents of manure, correct? Next is eco-friendly. Why eco-friendly? Because in the preparation of manure, we are not using any machinery or any such thing which can cause any, short, any sort of environmental pollution. In fact, we are saving the environment from pollution because we are making use of the waste materials. Let us suppose if manure would have not been prepared from those waste materials, then what would have happened? They would have simply been lying down here and there. So that will cause pollution because the wastes are lying on the ground and it is some bad smell is coming out and it is it is polluting the atmosphere so basically it is preventing it is helping us not to have pollution so it is eco friendly recycled biological project product that is something very important because it is as i mentioned before also it is recycling the same thing it is not using any new resources I mean, for preparing manure, you don't need to buy some raw materials and prepare manure. It is something like whatever wastes are there, so the same things are getting recycled. So these are some of the additional advantages of using manure other than enhancing the crop productivity. Right? So with this, we will end our discussion on manure. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.